Hello everyone, I'm Peng Zhang from San Yansan University. It is a great honor for me to be here to introduce our recent work tackling the singularities and the end of time intervals in diffusion models. This work was done during my internship at WeChat. In this work, we begin by reviewing the average brightness issue in diffusion models. Most existing diffusion models ignore the sampling at the initial singular time step resulting in the inability to generate bright and dark images. This we call the average brightness issue. However, the singularities in diffusion models is hard to tackle. It has two challenges. First, most diffusion models assume that the reverse process adheres to a Gaussian distribution. However, this approximation has not been rigorously validated, especially at the singularities where t equals to 0 and 1. Therefore, it is not easy for us to use the sampling functions with Gaussian approximation at the singular time step. Secondly, the sampling precise for singularities has not yet been defined. Firstly, for t equals to 1, alpha 1 equals to 0, the conditional distribution tilde p will encounter a singularity divided by 0. Secondly, for s equal to 0, t approaching 0, sigma t condition 0 is equal to 0. The conditional distribution tilde p will encounter a Gaussian with 0 virus, that is a singular distribution. For avoiding singularities, existing method restrict the time intervals to epsilon 1 and 1 minus epsilon 2. For tackling the above two changes, we first propose Proposition 1 and Proposition 2 to prove that the reverse diffusion process can be approximated by a Gaussian distribution. Under such approximation, we can use the Gaussian sampling function for sampling. For t equal to 1, we found that this singularity is conditionally removable by using x prediction instead of epsilon prediction. For t equal to 0, we found that this singularity is an inherent property of diffusion models and does not need to be avoided. Based on the above conclusion, we propose a novel model sync diffusion to tackle the singularity at t equal to 0. For training, we train a model named sync diffusion to predict y bar. In the singular sampling process, we can use sync diffusion to translate x1 from normal Gaussian distribution to the distribution at 1 minus epsilon. And then we can use the existing sampling algorithm for remaining time steps. Since our sync diffusion is independent with remaining precise, our model is plug and play. First, we use four prompts like black background, white background to prove that our method can resolve the average brightness issue. Since our method is designed for tackling singularities, our method can also improve the image quality. We choose 30,000 prompts from COCO dataset and calculate the FID and CLIP score result classifier guidance. We can find that our method obviously improved the CLIP score and decreased the FID score. We also show the Pareto curves between CLIP and FID score under different guidance scale. We can find that our method achieves a lower FID score for approaching the same CLIP score. Since our method is plug and play, sync diffusion can be applied to different models like stable diffusion 1.5 and 2.0 for tackling average brightness issue. Our method can also be applied to Kentronite. This concludes my presentation. For more details, please visit our GitHub. Thank you.